608, it is an exciting day for UTSA and the Roadrunners quarterback, Frank Harris, as we were telling you just earlier. Yeah, he's that. expected to make a, a really big announcement later this afternoon. Want to bring in Marvin, and there's a lot of speculation about what's going to happen, Marvin, but with everybody that's there, it, it to me, it kind of points like he's going to say he's going to stay. You, you know, conventional wisdom says this at the end of the day. All good things have to come to an end one That's day, true. right? So we know it will be about his future in football, but what he's exactly going to say, well, that's still up in the air. Fans, of course, are hoping that the UTSA QB will decide to stick around for another year, at least one more, since he has one more season of eligibility, but there's also a possibility that he could declare for the NFL draft. The San Antonio native has had a lot of success at UTSA. Harris just helped leap the Roadrunners to their second straight Conference USA title, and next they will be on the road to take on Troy in the Cure Bowl. Some big names expected to be in attendance with Harris at today's press conference include Bear County Judge Nelson Wolf, County Judge Elect Peter Sakai, local philanthropist Harvey Nahum, and top executives from the advertising agency, the PM Group, which is important to know because the PM Group is one of UTA's top NIL boosters. So we will, of course, have a crew there to find out what Frank's deciding. What will be his decision? Stay tuned to Ken's 5 and Ken's 5.com. The press conference, by the way, Barry, Sarah, is going to be at 3.30 this afternoon. We're just hoping that wisdom you were talking about holds off a little bit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> of one year. One year, right? <laughs> yeah, Absolutely. we'll see. That big yeah. money speaks, Marvin. Thanks, Thank you. Marvin.